Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, this video is about why we accept everything that we have been given. Why do we accept everything that has been given? Um, they just accept it as a given because I guess mentally, maybe it's mentally soothing to say, well, I don't have to worry about that part. Someone else has figured it out for me. Phew. So my mind doesn't have to think this thing through and figure it out. I don't have to go back and test things or research it or, uh, uh, you know, measure things or calculate things or, you know, I don't have to do any of that because thank you that someone else did it for me. So this given is supposed to be the truth. That is basically supposed to be synonymous with the truth or a fact. A fact. When it is not a fact, in fact, it is not a fact, it is either a theory or it could just be a blatant lie. Lie. You know? So that's why we need to do it ourselves. We need to be able to go further back and say, well, hey, whoa, 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 not so fast. You're saying this is given. How is it given? How, how was this proven to be a fact? How was it proven? So think about if someone gave you a gift. They gave you a gift and you're so thankful for the gift because, you know, they thought of you and they thought enough of you to, to give you this gift, a present. Very rarely um, or seldomly do we ask, oh, where did you get this? Where did you get this? Because that would be rude, right? It would be rude to ask someone where they got it, how they got it, because it's a gift. Well, similarly, in our daily lives, in academia, in school, just day to day, we're given a lot of information, whether the media is giving us this information, books, textbooks, you know, are giving us information. Math books actually have the word given when you are doing geometry, postulates, trigonometry, they actually um, will say, oh, this is just given. This is just a matter of fact. Accept it as true. And that will give you what you need to solve the other unknowns or the unknowns. But this is given, okay? This is, this is the part that you don't have to worry about. It's just given. So just accept it and, and just be thankful that is given so that, you know, because you don't have to, you don't have to worry about figuring this one out because it's already given to you, right? Now, going back to the present um, or the gift that someone gave you, um, <clears throat> I mean, you don't know if it was stolen. You don't know if it's a hand-me-down, if it's been re-gifted. They've had it in their home for years and years and decided, hey, I'm going to give this to you. Or if they bought it from a store. You know, they took it from someone else. You, you just don't know, right? Unless, of course, they provide you with receipts. Today we say, oh, I've got the receipts. That means you have the proof, the evidence. Oh, you, you bought it at, from the store here. Oh, okay, I see. You bought this. Here's the receipt right here. The proof that I need. But when you don't have it, when you don't have the receipt, that is when you have to question. Question beyond measure. Where did this come from? And that is how we need to treat all information that we have and get and receive because we shouldn't just accept everything as a given. We should question. 
things, right? And you know, also while working on the video and I've heard the bad news and the tragic, tragic, devastating news about Miss USA, um, there are so many young people who are said to be committing suicide and they are young. I mean, she was only 30. Um, I know that uh, Regina King's son um, recently committed suicide as well. And he was only in his either late 20s or early 30s. Um, I personally know of people who have committed suicide. And I don't know what it is. I know that depression is a real thing. Don't get me wrong. I know that um, loneliness and feeling overwhelmed and feeling um, just trapped or... I know all of those things are very real. I have two teenagers um, who express things to me, and I'm glad that we have an open um, communication going with us that they can come and tell me about anything. And and then there are parents who may, may feel that they had that with their child, but they were still holding back something. So I'm not saying that obviously mental illness is not a real issue, that depression is not a real issue, that loneliness and um, feeling um, overwhelmed and isolated, especially um, because of the times we're living in right now with the pandemic. But at the same time, we are given a lot of information from the news and they're saying, oh, yeah, well, this person took their own life. This person committed suicide. And, and then it's just, okay, well, let's just remember this person as they were, rest in peace. And we do want them to rest in peace. But we also have to question, once again, if some of these so-called suicides were, in fact, murders. Something just doesn't sit well with me hearing about the story. And true enough, I did not know her her story i did not follow her i saw her um actually i had seen her um just about maybe a few days before hearing the news and she was um interviewing um sebastian stan and, and anthony mackey uh for their movie um and uh you know um the falcon and winter soldier um i i didn't realize that that was even her and I'm from North Carolina, and she was from North Carolina, and she went to USC, um, a Gamecock here in South Carolina. I live in South Carolina right now. And I just felt, I was like, oh, wow. And then all of a sudden, it's like she was said to have done this. And, and so there are just... I don't, I don't believe that you can just take everything as, oh, well... This is um, a, a, just a open and shut case, a clear case of suicide. Let's close the books on this and let the family just heal and, and mourn. But um, you have to question these things. It's happening too often. It's just happening too often. And we have to step we have to stop and just kind of look at things and say, wait a minute, wait. I mean, <sighs> Who was she with? Who, who was seen with her last? Um, the fact that she was found, well, they say that she was found, um, not found, but um, she was last seen up on the 29th floor. And even though she lived on the ninth floor. So who whose terrace was she on? Because you have to obviously live in the building to have access to the terrace. So whose apartment was she in? And the fact that there was no suicide note, the cryptic message on Instagram. I mean, all of those things could, could be, uh, you know, uh, someone could have taken over her account. Someone could have forced her to do that. Um, there are so many 
different things that could be going on. And I don't want to be sounding like a crazy conspiracy theorist with everything because I do accept things as they are most of the time. But there has to come a point as well when we are questioning narratives way more than we are. And just instead of just accepting, oh, the status quo, all the news reports say it was a clear case of suicide. Well, who has investigated to make sure, you know? But I'm just sending prayers, love to the family and just everyone who has lost people in this way because it is so devastating. It's just, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I am just praying for all the young people, just everyone who is feeling these feelings of depression, of of anxiety, of uh, just isolation, of hopelessness, just remove those feelings from their minds and their hearts Lord help them to heal help them to get help Lord help them to be among people who can offer them love and encouragement and positivity and healing Lord and just a healthy environment where they can just be free Lord be free to um, live their lives Lord and just help them to just help them to be able to do the things, Lord, that, that gives them the purpose that you have given them and the desire to want to feed into their gifts and their energies into the things that naturally come to them that make them happy and growing. And those are the things that, that, that we pray for because, you know, ultimately what makes you happy in life is to be able to do the things that drive you. And those are usually the things that you already have a natural gift for. And gift to do or a knack for you know so just you know following your own dreams um not the pressures that are put on you you know and and that is what i believe wholeheartedly not to force someone into these situations and um oh, so much but that's another example of a given givens that have been oh this per this another actor or another singer Found in a hotel, overdosed. Oh, uh, really? Who investigated that one? Did they, are, are we sure that that's how it happened? Anyways, so question things. Ask questions. And, and, and it has to be proven. Let all things be proven. We have to be able to prove those things. Or at least accept a reasonable answer response for oh well why is this the way that is how did this how did this um thing become this thing you know so that's just my little tip of the day to ask more questions not to accept everything as given but to be able to prove it and to have the answer for it, not an assumption, an answer, a true answer based on true science, observation, testing, uh, research, getting to the bottom of things. That is what it's all about. That is what everything that we, that we learn should be about to test all things and to prove all things. Well, thank you guys for joining me for another video. And until the next time, you take care.